Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, so in this video, as you can probably tell by the uh, title, uh, I'm going to swap over the factory all-season uh, tires on my 2021 RAV4 Prime with some dedicated winter tires and wheels that I purchased online. So let's take a closer look at them. All right, so this is not an endorsement video. There's no sponsorship, but I purchased these from a company called 1010tires.com. I know they have some physical locations, but I purchased them online. So I basically wanted to go for a smaller wheel, but the same diameter on the tire or the same circumference or as close as I could. So the factory wheels are 19 inch, but these are 17 inch. So I wanted additional sidewall tire, taller sidewall. Um, these wheels are from a company called Fast and the wheels are called Switch Titanium. And I don't know if titanium is just the color or what, because you can get them in different colors. My first choice of wheel was a black wheel with some machining on it. And uh, when I ordered it from them, they were like, nope, these aren't winter approved because they had the, the machined lip uh, you know, uh, features and that would corrode. So they said, go back and pick a, a solid color painted wheel, which I did. So if we take a look here, you can hear that kind of grindy noise because there's a whole lot of studs in these tires. I've had studded tires before. They're noisy, but they're just unmatched in terms of their uh, traction on ice. We tend to have more like slippery roads, it seems, the last few years. More ice than, than years ago. So I wanted to go with, with studded tires this time. Uh, you know, worst case, we can take them off, put on non-studded tires if, you know, really need to. But I think these will be okay. So let me just bring in a little bit closer so you can see that tread pattern. The studs aren't placed, you know, exactly in the same spot if you go around and look. So it should have really good tra traction. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention here too, uh, this is a Canadian thing, and that is that we don't have TPMS sensors on the RAV4 at all. So this is just a regular, typical rubber and steel valve stem. There's no sensor at all. I just opened up this one just to uh, check fitment on the brakes, the caliper, stuff like that. Um, one more thing to show you. Over here, these also came with hub centering rings or hub spacing rings and they go on the back of the wheel and I'll show you a little bit later but these go on the wheel to adapt these wheels to the RAV4 hub. All right, well, I'm gonna go unwrap, unpackage these other three and just make sure there's no damage on those and then we can proceed. I can't believe I forgot to tell you the uh, make and model of these tires. These are Michelin X-Ice North tires, uh, North 4, I should say. And uh, I don't think they're available in the US, but uh, something to look into. Uh, I guess that would be the uh, part number for this particular tire, 33958. If not, maybe it's the 223636. But anyway, I went with the 17-inch, uh, they're 235-65R17. If we take a quick peek at the sidewall, studded Michelin X-Ice North 4 SUV, Snowflake. Uh, let me just get in here real quick and just show you the tire date. So these would have been manufactured the uh, 29th week of 2020. And uh, it's November 2021, so these tires are a little bit on the old side, but I'm not super worried about that. That's not super concerning. Like if it was like these were a couple years old, I might be a little more worried. All right, so I inspected all of the wheels and tires and I didn't see any damage, so it's time to put them on. Step one, get your jack ready, but before you actually lift the car off the ground, break the lug nuts free. <clears throat> I'm using a 13 16th socket with a ratcheting breaker bar.
So this is a good time when you have the wheel off to just take a look, inspect the brake rotor, look at the brake pads, general inspection for leaks, uh, bad bushings, that kind of thing. So this is the hub adapter ring or hub centric ring that I need to put on to adapt the wheels. As we can see here, 66 by 60.06. .06. So basically what that means is the hub on the vehicle is approximately 60.06 .06 millimeters. And then this makes up that space. So the wheel goes on and fits on nicely. And I'll actually just show you on a wheel here too. There, just to show you that's, that's how it fits. You may need to uh, use a wire brush here. I got a little wire brush. Just kind of clean off that mating surface if there's any, any buildup of rust or anything on there. So that's on there and I'll put the wheel on now. Just make sure that feels good. Start the lug nuts by hand. I'm just going to speed it up with this tool, but be careful not to cross thread. So I just wanted to bring in a little closer now that it's mounted and the vehicle's on the ground. So my number one question when researching online was, will a 17 inch rim fit the, where a 19 inch came from the factory? Like I already said, I wanted a taller sidewall to get a smoother drive in the winter where there's potholes and ice and bumps. And here's the real question is, is there clearance around the brake caliper? And like I can stick my hand between the caliper and the wheel uh, on the, behind the face of the wheel. And if you look in there, oh, I have a light here, hang on. You can see there's good clearance all the way around. And then if we look, against the barrel of the wheel, we can also see, you know, I can stick my fingers in there a little bit, but there's lots of clearance. I already did a test fit on this wheel and uh, went around the block and it, it worked fine. There's no rubbing, there's no noise. Uh, it worked really good actually. So I do recommend, I mean, you can do what you want, but I do recommend you go down at least one inch in diameter um, for winter wheels if you have, you know, severe winter conditions like I do. So now let's just compare the stock 19 inch wheel with the 17 inch. Just try and bring them close together here. And just kind of eyeball them up. You can't see from where you are, but like we're talking within, within probably half a centimeter of height difference. Like they're extremely, extremely close. I used an online tire size calculator to determine that the circumference is extremely close. So the one other thing I wanted to do then, is just compare the weight of the stock 19 inch wheel and tire with the winter wheel and tire. So let's roll this one on. This is the 19 inch. And that's 61.5 pounds. And now for the winter. And that's 53 pounds. That's a massive difference. That means these are actually gonna be a little bit more efficient because there's less rotating mass. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones and uh, we'll come back. All right, I just wanted to show you, this is one of the uh, rear wheels. And uh, I just wanted to show you the clearance on the brakes is also fantastic here on the rear. Um, one thing I should have mentioned a little bit sooner, look on the side of the tire. You see how it says rotation? You do want to make sure you have the tires going in the right direction just for uh, safety purposes. All right, folks. Well. The wheels are on, tires are on. 
I went around just made sure that they were seated properly. You want to look right back there where the wheel meets the brake rotor or the hub and make sure that's right. Then you want to torque the lug nuts to 76 pound feet in the star pattern. Go all the way around and do that. And then the last thing you really need to do is uh, make sure they're inflated to the right uh, pressure. In this case, it's 35 PSI front and rear. I think they look pretty good. One more thing I did, and I recommend this when you take off, if you're doing like me and you're swapping between summer and winter, mark on the back of the tire with the tire crayon where that uh, tire and wheel came from so that the next time when you go to put them on, you can rotate them. So that way my wheels and tires get rotated every year. Every time I switch over to winter, I rotate them. Every time I put the summers on, I rotate them. I hope you found this video helpful. I just kind of wanted to give you an update on the RAV because there's, uh, you know, snow coming and I knew I had to do this eventually. Um, let me know, leave me a comment below if you uh, have winter tires in your vehicle, which ones you went with. Like I say, I've tried different ones and I wanted to go studded this time around. Um, and I'll also uh, maybe post an update in the comments there on how they perform. I know they're going to be noisy, but I think they're going to perform extremely well when the roads get slippery. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more automotive content. Thanks for watching.